Hello and welcome back to the pit. My name is Solon Outlander and I am being talked over by some stupid resident. Shut up. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? There we go. Gideon what Reyes. What wife say to that? Nothing. She's been too busy with the pool boy. Why is everybody talking over me? Right. May the waters pass over you. I am going to shoot you in the face. It will be hilarious. Gideon. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Yes, I have plenty of news. The smugglers were working with a woman named Mama Kotza. We arrested her. Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. Yeah. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. Yeah, for now. Glad we could help. As am I. Now, for your reward, the money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. Oh, God. Now what? If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored, even. You're quite a remarkable outfit, and I'd like to help you out. A political advisor, eh? I could use one of those. We could definitely use a political advisor. Welcome aboard. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. That was very... You'd like to sign up as a volunteer, Shut up. Yes, that was very stilted. Looking forward to what we can... Yeah, right, okay. I need... I mean, something tells me I should probably get another point, because I'm going to have to get rid of the hat eventually. Uh, for the moment, I mean, speed for the evasion and the initiative. Uh, awareness for the extra range damage, which is the big thing for me right now. If I get that to, at the very least, you know, six points, not including the hat. Confirm. Right, leadership. Small arms or kiss ass. Now I don't need barter anymore. I've got the uh, perk that strictly does it for me. I mean, it's a nice idea, the sell value and buy cost increase, but at this point, because I've got the antique and antique appraiser, that's going to be my main source of big income when I'm selling junk from now on. So yay me. Now, kiss ass or leadership? I mean, I like the buff that comes with leadership, and as we found out, it does have some passive things. Oh yes, and... I get a perk. I can get the perk. Right. I'll actually go for the leadership. Confirm. Save the point. I can now demoralize, which works in tandem with Bane's suppressing fire for good synergy. If I just get weird s one point with weird science for you then, confirm. Oh, it still moans at me. After that I'll focus on your strength. 
confirm. Damn it. Uh Well, I don't want to spend too much. That's the problem. I'll ignore it for now because I can't remember. I am the idiot that can't remember. what for. Right, back to Ranger HQ. Where is everybody? There we go. Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Yes. We read you, who is this? What kind of call sign is Dead Red? I mean, surely you should do it the other way around and then add another word. We are the Red Dead Redemption. Uh, what kind of call sign is it? Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Okay. Hello? Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ah, oh, so you're still alive. Angela Death? Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. Okay, Ranger Command was worrying what happened. No, uh, worrying? Yes, I got the wrong word. Wondering what happened to you. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. I'm starting to get that impression, yes. Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. And why are you telling us this? Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. Great. There's a man you should talk to. Locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. What man, and how do we find him? His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. He's got a shotgun. Wait, hold on. A shotgun for left... Is this Ash? Uh. I'll check it out when we're done with what we're doing now. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Right. Sounds to me like we're going to get into a lot of politicking. I mean, I'm aware that at some point I'm going to have to start picking sides with the reputation thing. I'm not going to be able to 
appease everybody. I mean, as it stands, the hundred families and the refugees are very much sort of diametrically opposed. Although the marshals love me. Wait, hold on, what was that? Uh... Yeah, Foyer said something about the fact that they loved me. Rangers uncover human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested! Lovely, thank you. Shut up, go away. How does everybody have our phone number? You don't have to yell, Charlie. Oh, sorry. Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! Fortunes sound great, but could you please stop yelling? for this. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But, sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy, and you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Uh, why would you want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Well, since Mr. brigo has gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient and can handle themselves in a fight? You help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. What does well compensated mean? Don't worry. Your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance, and you'll be paid handsomely. Uh, let's do it. I knew you'd say that. All right, we have a hideout not far from the bizarre entrance, near the old parking lot. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Mostly I said that because I don't like immediate. Who the hell are you? Got some business for you. If you have the cojones. A woman stands like a queen amongst a gang of hard men. She gives me a sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so... Why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. Oh, gee. A girl you own. On the other hand, she'd never suspect. <laughs> Hell, with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? A girl you own? Are you slavers by chance? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Since when did I rob corpses? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. What's the girl's name? Nelly. No. Hallie, I think. 
Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skinned like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Pat. <laughs> All right, and what's in it for us? You can't seriously be considering taking this monster up Lucia, on her Lucia, shut up. Now, now, little girl. Leave matters of business to the adults, huh? You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. I was, actually. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. 900-909-3500. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. How do you know about these sealed rooms? You used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crannies. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. I'm rather concerned about your guy there constantly shaking his fist at me, to be honest. We're going to verify that code first. Not a problem. Come see me when you've kitted yourselves out in your fancy new gear. <laughs> Adios, compadres. All right. I mean, part of me. Stay sharp. <laughs> Great. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. Oh. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Of course there was. An altercation? Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Of course they do. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today... One of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. Any suggestions for a fix? Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. This wasn't the first incident. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't, calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. 
We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Okay, here's our decision. Shoot. Oh, God. Hmm. Thing is, I tried to be a good person. We made a deal. We stick with it. Rangers who have a problem will be disciplined. Yes. How can I set a good example if I don't make that example mine? You... You're siding with us? I, uh, wow. Thank you, Rangers. An honorable choice, Team November. But it won't lessen the friction. I know. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Oh, don't be a worry, Warts. There's a floating gun. Ah! Hello, <laughs> private. Right, so let's try out this new code. The door gun this vault is enormous and recessed into the walls, floors and ceiling. It appears it can only be opened with the code. I press the... enter the code and press enter. It begins to slide open. Ooh. Wait, what's that? Nerd. Not loot at all. The door gun this vault, blah blah blah, enter the code. War room, eh? Glad I was actually reading that because that would have been embarrassing. This terminal is displaying information about all oh, seems normal. Access for the commander's armory. Damn it. Hello, Gideon. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? How are you settling in? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. I'd like to ask your advice on political matters. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? What do we need to do to remove the Patriarch with blood... Uh, <laughs> if it was impossible to depose the Patriarch peacefully, how do we get in good with Brygo? Why would you want to? The man is a thug and corrupter, and should have no place in this city. Good to know. What can you tell us about the marshals? Uh, well... Go on, Mr. Reyes. I can take it. Uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot. Rarely the head. They are also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. Therefore, this is a town where help from the marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. Was that a fair assessment, Marshal Kwan? Ah, uh, um... 
What can you tell us about the Gippers? They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. Interesting. Certainly. Could you give us your thoughts on some of the factions we're dealing with? I'm honored that you value my opinion. Go on. Oh, so it just does the same thing as... Certainly. Tell us your opinion of the local big shots. Who are you interested in? The Patriarch? He is everything you have ever been told about him and more. A man who built a state with nothing but his bare hands and brute will. Even in his current state, he is dangerous. Indeed, I'd argue he's more dangerous now than he was in his youth. A man who is terrified of losing his place in the world will do anything to keep it. Anything. I... I loved him once. Worshipped him. Now I just fear him. Fear what he could do to Colorado if he continues to unravel. Who else are you interested in? Right, so we got victory, valor, and liberty. <laughs> I know your opinion of Farron Brigo. Daisy? <laughs> well, Reyes? Uh, well, I would say Sheriff Daisy is a woman to be both admired and feared. She is fair, but doesn't forget. And she is slow to forgive. <laughs> you can say that again. Who else are you interested in? Victory? Stay away from him if you can. Victory Buchanan isn't sane. He's a spoiled, homicidal brat who needs to be put down like a rabid dog. Uh, not that I would condone murder, Marshal. No, of course not. That would be illegal. Forgive me. I shouldn't have... Uh... Just be careful, that's all I'm saying. People who spend too much time in Victory's presence don't live long. Who else are you interested in? Uh, Valor? I've always felt a bit sorry for Valor. Book smart and quiet in a family where neither of those things were valued. But he grew up a peevish young man, always alert to slights, whether real or imagined. He ended up believing he was better than everyone else because... He was misunderstood. And that's why he stays with the Gippers, I think. They understand him. Or at least pretend to. Who else are you interested in? And Liberty. She was a terrifying little girl and grew up to be a terrifying woman. I have never known anyone so able to focus or so certain of their path. She believes she is destined to rule Colorado and will not stop until she succeeds. But if she succeeds, ooh, woe to us all. Colorado will become a war machine and all us citizens merely fuel for its ever grinding engines. Who else are you interested in? Uh, that's it for now. Safe travels, Rangers. I understand you had a tough decision to make between helping those poor hoons or saving that Arapaho shipment. Well, you did the right thing. That truck, I'll be here. Yes, I will give you the finger. Right. Oh, that was what I needed to do. Container? I missed a container. I've unlocked my garage. From here I can customize... I thought... Okay. Loot it all. No, stay away from it. Hello, Fastback. Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. We're the mechanics Gideon Ray has sent. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. How are you finding the accommodations? We've had to make do with worse. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. 
Lots of supplies in reach. Give it a few more days and we'll give you a garage that'd make Steel Town go green with envy. Sounds awesome. Anything you need? Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar, see if you can find him and invite him over. Will do. We'll help you find that wrench jockey. Appreciate it. What do you have for sale? Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Aha! Uh -huh. Bloody hell, the price. Big damn hero. No. Ammo type rockets. Yes. Effective against most small arms fire and harsh language. Oh, the amount of money. Chassis. Weapon. Shredder times ten though, so. Got the Caltrop launcher. Wow. Don't have any utility. Don't think I've got anything new appearance wise. I'll stick with the dragon hood ornament. Looks so stupid with the armor. Uh, don't leave right now. I mean, it, it makes. Oh, yeah, Tom's still there. And the thing is, those refugees are farmers. Surely I could get them to earn their keep by, you know, farming. Oh, hello. Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at me, a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Hello? Thing is, I do know where there is another cyborg chicken. Gear too. All good. Gear is great, makes it easier. <laughs> Gear is great, it makes it easier to kill slavers. I will find the girl. Hopefully, I can actually warn her away or whatever. I want to play. Excuse me? That was very rude. We'll get back to you. <laughs> Code was good. Gracias, friends. Send her here once you find her. Tell her you found her mama and she's waiting for her. We'll take care of the rest. 
Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. Suggest you start looking downtown. Adios. Sure. Still got a bunch of... Yes. Right. I mean, I'm reasonably sure I can play the game and, you know, help her November, while... Remember, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. Oh, you couldn't have told us that when I was actually there. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Uh, to the Fallen Rangers. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Now. You read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar collector. Hello, oh, you have a name. I was that makes. About the articles, but... Shut no, up. You have a name that suggests. Mom? Mom? Oh, I. Blonde, beautiful, unblemished. There's no mistake in it. This could be the runaway slave La Perla's been hunting. Oh, you? You're the Rangers. I keep hearing about you from everyone. What do the Rangers want with me? Do you need help? No, please. I just need you to go away. Please. You were expecting your mother? Where is she? I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. I, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> you got separated. There, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know... She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage. Two. Two. I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. You're Haley, aren't you? How do you know my name? The smiling lady asked us to catch you, but we don't help slavers, so we're warning you instead. Keep your head down. Stay safe. You... you talk... to her. Oh god, you could have sold me out, but you didn't. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll leave as soon as I can. Thank you. Not a problem. I mean, the interface kind of spoils some of the tracking her down bit when I can just see her name. City celebrates as refugees slow to a trickle. Yeah, shut up. Ugh. So it takes away a lot of the Thank challenge of finding. Shut up. up. A lot of the challenge of trying to find her when I can just go, oh, she's got a name that automatically makes her important. Hey, good looking. Why? Why am I calling the mannequin good looking? Let's pick that. <laughs> pick the lock. Yep. RPG 101. Everybody is very happy for me to just take their worldly possessions. Maybe I'll join the forces. I'm sure they could use my help. I even got my own blackjack. Right, I am going to quickly run to the... Hey, did you ask your wife about your concerns about her ability? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, man. You can't leave me wondering. It was... Whatever happened to that one guy? No. 
is still burning. Right, cyborg chicken, hello. Follow us. We have a cyborg chicken. There was another cyborg chicken I needed to chat to. I wonder how many there are. Didn't it say there were eight or something in one of these? Right, there was another one, not there, it was here. Speaking of, I need mission log. Oh, I'm actually at the right level to take on the uh, Zealot. Slaver's Bounty. Level 15? Very hostile takeover, Lords of War, bloody bloody blah. Yes. I can do a bit more exploring now that I've got the upgraded tractor. Hopefully at some point I can find a better blimmin' armour plating because I don't like road signs being my armour plating. What brings you to Broadmoor? Cold glare. Fall in, soldier. You're a ranger now. Simply falls in step lock to the every inch the trained warrior. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did his wife say to that? Nothing. She's been too busy with the Now. Servitor bought. Still haven't been in there. I override the robot and set myself as an administrator. It goes silent for a moment before jolting back to attention. Ah yes, you pick the lock using the force. Yeah. Hi. Rangers, so good to see you. Thank you again for saving my life. Oh, right. A chemistry set. Gentleman's first chemistry set. Advanced edition. Elijah Ward. Or Elijah. I knew the security system needed more security checks. And fewer show tunes. Last. You are the Rangers, correct? I expected our paths to cross eventually. Sure. Let me express my thanks for saving my son Bellamy in the Garden of the Gods. All I could manage is the ineloquent gratitude of a father who thought he lost his child. May I help you with something? What can you tell us about the Patriarch's children? Their names are Valor, Victory, and Liberty. They are Saul Buchanan's children. He loves them as only a father can. I understand that, love. That's all I should say. Please, ask me about anything else. Okay, what sort of work do you do here? Most of my time is spent researching and developing technology. In time, I believe we can restore our standard of living to that of the legendary pre-war days in the 1980s. Eh, who knows? Someday we may even exceed it. Mm. Bye, Rangers. I'm sure at some point I'll be, uh... Looks like a work in progress version of the solar collectors placed throughout the Garden of the Gods. Uh no. Equipment. The co this corner of the room smells like a biology class. Form an air <laughs> Okay. Right. Aha. Ooh. 
really should actually do more mods for my armor and all that, but whatever. Hello, elite trooper. The patriarch likes it quiet. So do you. Oh, look. Even with this beastly weather, I suppose the Diligent Joe nods at yes. me. Oh, hello. Uh, you must be the Rangers. Yes. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Oh. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. So no more normal folks can't see the Patriarch? Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Goodbye. Good day. What's up? I've told you before, drone. The Patriarch isn't Welcome, interested. Rangers. Departing respectfully. Hello? Ah! No! Oh. Pick that lock. I pick that lock. Hmm. I mean, I do need to tell Mr. Buchanan that his blimmin' daughter has a bunch of heads for me. It's like the Iron Throne, if it's made instead of swords, but missiles. Looks like a much younger version. Oh, God, the ego of this guy. This palace used to be a fancy hotel back before the deluge. Wonder if they had the turret guns back then. Probably not. You're cl good to see you, Rangers. Ooh, they love me. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and upset you. Likes it quiet in here. So do we. Throne room. Let me guess, I try to pick that lock, I get moaned at. Stop! Only members of the Patriarch's family are allowed back here. What family? They're all rogue. Used to get lots of visitors. Not anymore. Can I go through this one? Oh bloody hell, I can. Breather tank. Claim from the body of a breather, 2106. Saw uh, Scar Collector arm from the Battle of Pumpkin Center. 96. War banner of some Forgotten Plains gang long ago. Patriarch still has chairs around the dining table. Yeah, is the jolly times around this table. Yeah, I'm sure. The back is caked with dust. Polite par parlor pastimes. Pages upon pages of games playable in less than an hour. The games involving random chance have been crossed out. Genuine payaso footwear. Spattered with genuine payaso blood. An old rubber monster mask. My perception is amazing. Adoption records. Melissa Howe. The orphan will be presented as the legitimate heir of Claire Howe. All marshals present during the Godfather ra uh, Godfisher raid are sworn to secrecy. Now that's interesting. One section stands out. By order of Saul Buchanan. Yep. You recognise the name Howe from Broadmoor Heights. 
She was one of the people mocking others as they passed. Ah. Mask of the Cyclops, the last warlord of the monster army. It's a trophy gallery, dining room. Apparently, you can't touch that one. <laughs> can't touch this. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Oh, I'd settle in a lot better if your guard there wasn't aiming at me so intently. Things are a little chaotic around here, huh? That's why you're here. To help make the chaos go away. Now what can I do for you? We have some other things to report. Tell me. Uh... Fine. We have some questions. Have you thought about what will happen to Colorado after you're gone? Why? Are you getting ideas? It just seems as you're not planning to pass the job to your children. It might be time to consider another successor. Uh... I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. I suppose that's fair. What happened between you and the Dorseys? Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me. And... Well... Until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. Couldn't help noticing you seem to favour your daughter over your sons. <laughs> Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody-handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing, only ruling. Yeah, I kind of noticed. Have you ever considered expanding beyond the Col borders of Colorado? The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. That's actually very sensible. Let's back up. Fine. Ask them. Fine. That's all for now. Before you go, thank you for saving that Arapaho caravan. The power armor they were carrying will help keep my marshals safe, which will keep the citizens of Colorado safe. Now get going, and come back with results. Will do. Fusion turrets now. Ooh, a grenade box. No sudden moves, understand? Stop! Aye. You have a bed right there. There's a note pinned here. Hey Charlie, we all know you... Uh, afternoon turret duty bait bites, but clean up the mess. Thanks. Hmm... Let's have a look at this locker. Punk buster. Shotgun. Fascinating. Oh god, I'm still being followed by the weirdo. Hey, you hear about Rosalind's ex? Uh, the love puzzle guy? Scuttlebutt is he's been trying to get rotated into her unit. <laughs> oh, we gotta make this happen. You you ever see Roz go all ice cream on some poor soul? It's like, I, I can't even describe it. Careful, or someone will think you got the hots for Roz. No way. Right. Oh, hello. It's painting date dates from before the apocalypse. It depicts a city with an unpronounceable name in a place called Europe. 
Yeah, considering the myriad of languages in Europe, that's probably a fair description of the name. Some of them... Look, speaking as a British fellow, I look at some of my neighbours' uh, city names and I think, bloody hell. Right, there's also supposedly a hatch somewhere around that leads to... Also, was there something else I could do in here? Yeah, poor Lucia. It there we go. So empty now. Even when Pa and Ma were traveling, the only person who knew the combination to that safe was my mom. If you think you can guess it, I don't mind. Guessed it. My dearest Lucia, I pray this message finds its way to you, as it is the last I am ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, you mustn't blame yourself. I know you would have wanted to be here at the end, but I am glad you are not. Open the door, Wesson! Time to face justice! Your mother and I love you very much, and we are so proud of you. Because you are destined for great things, Miss Lucia Wesson. I regret that I shall not live to... Hmm. Old handkerchiefs and dollars. Well, I think that is now everything from here, unless I can at some point move the Wait, hold on. Why has that one got a speech buck? No point looking back there. It's smashed up even worse, and the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. Okay. I mean, it's a little random that. Right, I see. No trespassing. Sheriff's orders. Hold that you belong now. No trespassing. Now, what next? That's the last time anyone saw the picture. He was down at the old air base to greet the Rangers. I think he really is sick. I heard him fire. Hmm. Wonder who they're talking about. <laughs> oh, well, it's cool that it marks out the. Ah. Oh, real funny cartoon in there. And Jeffy ripped a robo arm off that scar collector. <laughs> Cracked up. I was gonna ask about the articles, but uh, never mind. Confirm. More nerd stuff. Confirm. Yes. Yes. Now, there should now be a statue of General Vargas. That's random. Hello. An inscription reads, General Vargas and all rangers who gave their lives 
for a better world. And there's the Provost chasing after me as usual, the weirdo. Chickens take no notice of your presence, they are busy soldering metallic plates to- wait, what? I'm sorry, I don't even need it to read, wait, what in the description thing there, I just- what? Right, I'll talk to those guys after the delivery is sorted. Rangers. Austin, how are you? Welcome back, Team November. Over here! Look out there! Over here! Please help me! Who, where, when, what? Who was that? Why was that? Just radio static. Now, what's this about a delivery? Good job bagging that synth downtown. We scored some points with Daisy for that. Now, what can I help you with? I'll be here. Uh, you, you maybe. I know it's a tight fit with the refugees, but there's always enough room to do the right thing. How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marsh. So I still haven't quite got maximum. Now, where's this woman that was moaning about needing help? Oh, God damn it. Dead. My husband and I need help. These psychopaths tied bombs to us. But if we get near each other, they'll explode. Why call us? No one else will come. They're afraid of getting blown up. These have to be disarmed within a few seconds of each other or they both blow up. Where is your husband? I think he's by the garage. I'm not exactly sure where because we're afraid to get any closer. Bloody ball. camera. I think he's okay for now. Please, you have to save us both. Who would do this? Some crazed raiders outside the city. They jumped us while we were looking for supplies with our friends. You're saying the exact same things that the other that the bloke did. Their faces. Their bombs blew up when they got too close. I'll never forget the shock as they went to pieces. Can't happen to me and my husband. It just can't. I've seen many people scarred by the deaths of friends. This isn't one of them. She's not even a little shook. It's like it's an act. Uh huh. As I move closer, she scrambles away. No, the failsafe. You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode. Send someone over to my husband, please. Quick look. It's all I need to realize. It's mostly duct tape, red spray paint. Uh, if there's any actual explosives, a flimsy twine, it certainly won't detonate it. See what we can do. Thank you. I thought we were going to die for sure. Oh, now you're leveling up. Hmm. Ignore for the time being. Fine, let's see what happens if I send one person over to Mr. Pillock over here. Ooh. 
get on. I did say move. They split up. Get up. Oh, lovely. Um. Oh, look, Isabel's down. The hell, Wolf? Somebody call the marshals. Combat rush, great. What are you doing? Hey, you are you wearing a ghillie suit? That's cool. I mean, what's with the wolf mercenaries? Why are they just being... Well... Damn. Shit just got real. Yeah. So if I move here... Well, you made a mistake. Are you kidding me? You are legitimately kidding me. <laughs> Marshal Kwon. Maybe try getting to your knees before shooting. Oh, God damn it! Right. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Throw this. Throw it there. Now get Tom. And then duck there. That will show you. The wolf mercenaries are being useless assholes. Ow. Okay, what weapon is that? Because that is amazing. <laughs> Somebody call the marshals. Don't call the marshals. Marshals are useless. Oops. So where I am is... So if I go here... Are you frilling kidding me? Oh god, you're out of range. Because of course you are. Right, this pillock here... Thank you! time you actually managed to hit him. And you can't reach because of course not. Bastard. Out of curiosity. Okay, so they're not cowering like the wolf mercenaries are, but they're not doing anything. Get, get them, get them.
Oh look, the Provost is now making his move. <laughs> right, you. Take that. I'll piss on you, Liz. Slightly closer. Oh. And revive her. Just what I didn't want you to do. And that's a flamethrower. Moving the flag. Firing. Yeah. Two people surviving this long in my bloody headquarters. What nonsense is this? You just shot. Uh. Shoot him, please. Shoot him again. Kill him, please. Right, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I hit this one. Quickly heal Polly because Polly's the injured one. Now heal the lieutenant, uh, private rather. Tactical armor and a flamethrower. The shock mace, which is a pretty good weapon. And more tactical armor. Oh, revive Queen. Right, Austin, you're alive. The Provo is alive. The rabbit, all my pets are alive. You're useless. You going on about how your potential was wasted with Team Echo. And you just stand there staring, cowering like a bloody... What do you need, Rangers? Do you have any medical supplies? No, I just need of to be course, patched up. Have a seat. Never mind that. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work. Know who I hate the most? Who? The fucking hundred families. All we do is take care of those rich motherfuckers. And do they thank us? I feel bad for the refugees. A lot of people are pissed at them. Like it's their fault they're in this situation. Show us what you got. Happy to. Take a look. Ooh. If only I could now... Phase Blaster. I like it's that. Hard work. And do we get invited to any Broadmoor Heights parties? Do they even send a keg or two to the station when we've done them a favor? I've never seen it. See? I told you. Motherfuckers. Each and every 
Oh, closed it out. Oh, actually. I feel bad for the refugees. Yeah, great, thanks. Happy to. Sell the junk. Yay, an antique sold for extra money. Anyone object to me taking this little doohickey home? It's broke, but I think I could tinker with it. Uh, no, wait, Lucia, I was saving at bloody skill points. Wolf, you are useless. Right, La Perla. Find my girl yet? Kiss ass lie. Haley's gone. A witness saw her hitching a ride with an Arapaco. Well. Lived is a strong word. This is just where we stayed when we had business in Colorado Springs. We held our stock here, dumped our trash. That's it. Picked it because it was defensible. Especially once we got the security system working again. Is that creepy guy in the cell still here? Uh, not much spooks me, but finding that guy made my hair stand on end. Oh god, and I did release him. I see. Would have killed him, but much funnier to leave him to freak out the next bunch of scabs. <sighs> anyway, back to my lost property. Any luck tracking her down? Find my girl yet? Yes, witness saw her hitching a ride. The little lamb hit the road again? Smart. Annoying. But smart. Well, we weren't paying you for info. Cash on delivery only. So we'll be on our way. Come on, boys. We've got a truck to chase. And there we go. Now. Rangers. Um. Yes. Welcome back, Team November. Yeah, you're very welcome. Hey, Private. Here to serve. Uh, I mean, surely I should be able to. Well, it goes on about the commander's armory, but. Okay. Uh, okay, just by yourself go there. I wonder if that's saying, because it's saying that it recognises me, but it's not... I did say move. But then it says secondary thing required in the war room. So does that mean it needs to scan me there, and then... Where are you? It would be nice if you actually move when I tell you to move. Attack at midnight. Repeat. We attack at Dual authorization. Yes. Step away. All right. Hello. I found the commander's armory. Nerd stuff. More nerd. <laughs> he likes giving me nerd stuff. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well, I think shotgun wise, I've just found a superior shotgun. Hold on, so 26 to 37. Yes. Point blank. If 
I go to you and give you that one. Speaking of which, uh, rifle. Yeah, that's crap. PDAs. Need more strength. Oh god, that would be amazing. I just need one more strength, I think. Two more strength. Confirm. Oh, I want to max out your first aid before I start going anything else, so you are there. Skilled, no, no, no. Yeah, still need one more strength and then you'd be good. That one requires weird science. But that would give me a healing bonus, which is amazing. Right, so I'm on commando and tactical. Evasion and armor. Uh, uh, well, easier way to sort that is... I need cyborg tech. How do I get cyborg tech? Oh wow, optilasers. Right, you got Merc, I can give you the tactical, doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's a little sad I can't get in there now. But, you know, doing the right thing means sometimes I have to make sacrifices. And that is one such sacrifice. It is sad, but it is... Well, it is what it is. My tether, have I ever told you how I defeated Cochise? Single... I am going to quickly have a chat with my <laughs> jailer. I done nothing wrong with you. I know you did what you did with the best of intentions, but it still broke the laws of Colorado. Yeah. And what else could I have done? You could have asked for assistance, gone through proper channels. And what channels would those be? Name one that would have helped those people. Well, I thought so. It's true, it sometimes takes the law a while to catch up with justice, but you just have to keep prodding it. <laughs> like I'm gonna prod Saul Buchanan's carbuncled backside while there's innocent people dying out east every day. You're a good woman, Hope, but you've gotta wake up. Rangers, your decision to allow the refugees to remain in the barracks was an admirable one but it's caused considerable dissent among the recruits. Yeah, I know. Fortunately, the situation hasn't escalated into violence, but Sergeant Gretzky has had his hands full keeping the two groups apart. What can I do for you? How are the prisoners? Farron Brigo, vice bender, dishonorable degenerate, cartel commander, and gregarious gentleman. He's been working that silver tongue, but he's been well behaved otherwise. I know it is a bit much to hope that, at his age, he'd turn from his old habits and become useful to our community, but that's not a good enough reason to execute him. My hope 
that holdouts from his organization see how well he's being treated and start thinking about giving up their old ways. I want him to realize they can still have a life without fear of violent retribution. It might be a bit of wishful thinking, but... Mama Cotter has been a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I know anyone that uncompromising about their ideals. I don't even think she's that wrong. She just mm, went about it badly. Protecting and helping the weak and unfortunate? That is certainly a form of justice. <laughs> but she did break the law so, so, so many times and would have undoubtedly continued. I fear the marshals would have killed her for that, regardless of her good intentions. Yeah, that's why she's here and not at the marshals. Good luck out there. Hello, strawberry hair. Pardon me. Just going to the latrine. By all means, go ahead. Thanks. Don't mention it. Jesus, everybody's so polite. It feels like I'm at a funeral. Mm, Sato is my hero. Never eaten this well in my life. You've been damn good to us, Rangers. No matter what happens, my people and I will stick by you. Not right now. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. I was actually going to. No. Oh. What outfits can I give you? Could you not be in right in the way? <laughs> yes, I will go into battle. The sniper goes into battle wearing a gas mask, beret, and a suit. Right, confirm. Just let's leave it be for now. I have the container is still there. Me. I can lick my way to wildcats. Right, where was what's her face? I'm sure she's supposed to uh, No not you. The one I helped at the beginning, she should still be around somewhere, shouldn't she? I think I need somebody who's good with melee just because I've got that bloody shock lance, what's it call it? So little Vegas is no more, eh? Probably for the best. You know what, I'm actually gonna start selling some of my extra gear, because I do have a surplus. I feel bad for the refugees. Show us what you got. Happy to. Right. And I believe that's everything within CS I've got to do for the moment, so... Somebody is talking over me and they're very rude. Lords of War... I'll come back for that one. Very hostile takeover. I need to go back to the bazaar and from there because I now have the radiation thing I can go to the bunker so I will get in my car I will drive in my car it's not quite a Jaguar and go to the bazaar then I also need to check out the clown museum because that's still there Oh, that's... What the hell's going on? Well, the speed increase is much nicer. Well, that's all we have time for today. Now I'm not being interrupted. I'm driving in my car. Next time, we will check out this clown museum. 
We will go to the bazaar. I will crash through a bloody barrier because why not? I will cogitate. I will determine if it's worth having the monster army replaced. I'm thinking not personally. All that will be next time. But until then, farewell.